Hello, hello, hello. This is Desiree coming to you on another beautiful, beautiful weekend in Vancouver. I hope everyone is well. Welcome to Queer Love Light, a sacred portal that I have started to share spiritual wisdom insights and also practical tools to activate our inner self-healing powers to elevate our collective consciousness to make the world a better place. So I thank you for um, those of you who have been joining me in the past year or so. Today I'm very, very delighted to talk about this song that I have uh, been playing the music actually for every single meditation session that I've done uh, with you all at um, Queer Love Light. So that song is called Love, Peace and Harmony. So the song that I've been playing or the music I've been playing for the meditation sessions that I always have um, at the end of each session is the instrumental version of Love, Peace and Harmony. But it also has a uh, version with lyrics that really um, brings that frequency of love, peace and harmony through its message. And I want to share a little bit about why this song is so dear to my heart and why do I always use it um, as the uh, meditation music for all my sessions. It's because I myself have, have um, experienced incredible healing from the song and it's a very, very sacred and very special song um, that came to me or I um, have the opportunity to um, come across because of my teacher, um, Dr. Master Ji Gang Sha. So um, many of you who may have listened to my earlier episodes about um, the journey um, of my spiritual awakening that I have shared in my earlier episodes and for those of you who haven't, listen to that i encourage you to go back to the first few episodes where i shared about um, my own spiritual awakening and how i um, embarked on this path of becoming a spiritual healer and teacher so um so back to the song um so when i first uh, began my spiritual path my spiritual training with my teacher uh, this song is the song that he shared with us um, as a very uh, high frequency healing meditation music that he encourages us to chant, sing and meditate with because it's a song that he, um, Dr. Masa Shah, had the honor to receive from the Divine. So he was actually having a, a, a leisurely walk one day um, down in uh, uh, Mere Woods uh, back in early 2000s and, uh, and this song all of a sudden just came to him uh, from heaven and the melody came and then, um, and then the words came to him and he decided to uh, compose and create, produce this song uh, to share with humanity for healing and he has also since then founded the, the, the Love Peace Harmony Foundation, which is a nonprofit um, organization that brings healing and meditation and also uh, supports and contributes to many humanitarian causes uh, around the world. So this song has been made free, you know, to the public and, uh, to, and to, to encourage people to use it for healing and uh, transformation because of the high frequency vibration of healing that it carries because it came directly from the universe from divine to serve um, our uh, healing journey and so since then also the Love Peace Harmony Foundation has also um, uh, started a, uh, a peace movement by singing this song to raise the frequency vibration of our collective uh, frequency vibration and our collective consciousness uh, to bring more love, peace and harmony to the world. And 
you know, um, in my previous episode, I, I shared about this experiment about how meditations can actually reduce, you know, uh, crime rates in, in cities where people were doing experiments of how um, this, the, uh, even just a small group, 1% of the population doing meditation had actually um, the, had the benefits, the effect of bringing uh, peace, bringing more harmony to the city. The, the experiment actually showed that the crime rates dropped. So you can see that how um, perhaps a song that carries very high frequency vibration of love and light can also um, possibly eff affect our um, frequency vibration, our quantum field, and transform whatever negativity or disharmony or misalignment within um, the information vibration in our quantum field can also um, realign ourselves in love, peace, and harmony. And by doing that, we will also bring more love, peace, and harmony to our loved ones, our community, our um, uh, you know, uh, even our workplace, whoever that come uh, across our paths. So, so I have posted the message, this meme, asking, "Can a song change the world?" And I firmly believe that it can, because you know, um, the world begins from us. We are a our inner world is part of the outer world. So this this inner universe that is within us um, absolutely affects the outer universe um, be, um, within and without. So we, we underestimate how powerful our minds are, our thoughts are, our speech, our actions are, because um, you know, all, all the, uh, you know, our speech, our thoughts, our actions are actually vibrational fields that we're creating in each and every one of them. That are are absolutely um, quantum entangled with the rest of the world. And there's an episode that I um, have uh, done that, that uh, talks a little bit more about the um, effects of quantum entanglement and that how that uh, can explain healing and remote healing. So I, I encourage you to go and check out that episode if you haven't had a chance to do that. So from my own personal experience, you know, with Love, Peace and Harmony song, I'll just share that when I first came across the song, um, when I first began my uh, journey of uh, spiritual awakening, there was a lot of healing within myself that uh, needed to take place. And I wasn't even completely, you know, aware and conscious about how much healing that I needed myself. I wasn't looking actively you know, to heal myself. I have always been uh, touch wood, you know, quite healthy uh, physically. So when I met my teacher and started this journey, I wasn't looking for any kind of uh, healing specifically um, without knowing that uh, I certainly did need a lot of healing within, you know, in my uh, mental body, my emotional body, um, and later on discovered even in my physical body as well. So with the Lapis Harmony song, you know, when I first came across it and I started to um, experience it, um, I was going through a very difficult, uh, I would say, um, part of my life. I, you know, you can call it a, uh, uh, you know, midlife crisis or what have you. You know, a lot of things in my life were kind of like falling apart, you know, with relationships, with uh, finances, with my career. And uh, I found myself going through this roller coaster of uh, emotions and anxiety and depression and, um, you know, just going through, you know, um, some, some dark phases of, of my life. And, and I have to say, um, it was this song that actually became my refuge, if you will. You know, I... Um, I can't say if I've been a religious person or, you know, have had any specific, uh, you know, types of uh, rituals or even meditation practices that I did, you know, for my well-being. I, I haven't been that way. I mean, I, I, um, I was more a meditator, a more avid meditator when I was actively, you know, practicing 
my martial arts in kendo, uh, Japanese fencing. I used to meditate a lot more back then. Um, but I kind of, you know, fell off the wagon, you know, after I uh, uh, stopped um, pursuing that art. Um, so, so when I came across um, Love Peace Harmony song and, and began to study with uh, Master Sha, I got back into the uh, uh, practice of meditation and I used the Love Peace Harmony song a lot. And it was really out of, um, in, in, on some level, out of um, my need to, uh, to find some solace or some uh, balance in, in my uh, emotions, in my uh, um, uh, awareness, you know, of, of what's going on in my life. So, so, you know, every time I felt like when I was really challenged, you know, I had a tough day or challenging um, day, uh, and whenever I sing this song and meditate with it, I literally felt that I was being cradled in this bubble of unconditional love. And it didn't matter what was going on, you know, um, in my life. I, I just felt so much peace and calm just by playing the song and sometimes just listening to it and just meditating with it. And, um, but it was with the singing, actually, I have to admit, uh, that it brought me, uh, you know, back into balance a lot faster. And there's a, a reason for that. Um, you know, in, in the modality, in the teaching, the training that I've received, um, we, uh, we, we can actually tap into the power of sound. It's called sound power. And of course, you know, when you are listening to the music, you're meditating um, in the music, you are, uh, you know, tapping into the sound power. But when you sing it yourself, you are tapping deeper into that sound power because you're actually activating that that those uh, you know um, frequencies vibrations within your own being through your own um, uh, body your own you know um, voice so the 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 power is a lot deeper that way you're you're vibrating your own um, cells and um, organs you know what have you your own being a lot more uh, powerfully so, so sound power, when you sing the song, really, really comes into play and uh, the benefits are, I would say, a lot more powerful than just, you know, sitting there and um, listening uh, to the music. So, for all the past sessions, I've been playing the song, the instrumental version, uh, but I have not been singing the song yet. So today, uh, it is my delight to share with you the song and I'm so happy that I will um, be able to sing it for you as well um, as our meditation. So, so let me share the lyrics with you first and, and uh, perhaps share some uh, insights behind the lyrics and how powerful it is. The lyrics of this Love Priest Harmony song is actually very, very simple. So it only has like a few lines and I'll share it with you right now. So the first line is, I love my heart and soul. So I want you to take a moment to close your eyes and just feel the vibration of this very, very simple line. I love my heart and soul. How much are you resonating with this line? when you say this to yourself. I love my heart and soul. So this first line is essentially a message from the divine, from the universe, to remind us that we need to love ourselves unconditionally. I love my heart and soul. Who can love us more than ourselves? I love my heart and soul. So that's a very powerful message of healing to encourage us to love ourselves. And the next line is, I love all humanity. Again, close your eyes 
and see how this line resonates with you. I love all humanity. And as you visualize all of humanity, I know there is part of humanity that we may not be able to love or accept because of the um, not so positive aspects of humanity. And I certainly felt that way, um, you know, in the beginning when I first started uh, singing the song. But in fact, if we believe that the world is one, that we are all part of humanity, you know, the good and the bad, and nobody's perfect, we need to love all humanity in order to create a world of love, peace, harmony. However, that will come into reality one day. You know, we need to begin from love in order to become love, peace, and harmony. And that is by accepting everyone and everything as they are at this moment. And that's also, it goes back to also the episode when I shared about what compassion means, you know, from the perspective of Mother Guan Yin. Is somebody like Mother Guan Yin loves all humanity and therefore she can serve the way that she can by offering blessings and life-saving um, blessings to everyone and everything regardless of who they are or um, you know uh, if they're good or bad with no judgment and no attachments so I love all humanity it's a very very big statement you know um, to really be able to embody but we start from somewhere we love all humanity join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony so that's the lyrics of this love peace harmony song it invites us to come back to this place of love regardless of where we are who we are is, and to remind us about the power of coming together in love and that itself is a form of service. Service to ourselves and to humanity, to each other. So by activating this, this field of Lopis Harmony, and it is a very special song that carries very high frequencies of love and light. So it's not, a, not an ordinary song, and I would like to invite you again um, to do a short meditation with me today uh, with the lyrics. So I'm going to sing for you. Um, it is my great, uh, great honor to, to sing for you. Um, I am also a Tao Song healer, so um, I'm able to uh, connect with the Tao and sing this song for you okay so let us um i'm gonna play the instrumental version of this song and then sing it for you and invite you to go into a meditation with me so so close your eyes and just take a deep breath in all the way to your lower abdomen and just breathe out relax And take another deep breath in all the way to your lower abdomen 
and ground yourself by focusing your mind in your lower abdomen. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Continue to breathe in and breathe out. Connect to the love, peace, harmony, frequency, vibration. Notice how you're feeling. Love all humanity. 
join hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony Take another deep breath in. Just notice how you're feeling at this time. Do you feel more quiet, more still, more peaceful? More aligned in your soul, heart, mind and body? And slowly open your eyes when you're ready. So, you're welcome to share how you felt, what was your experience. You know, every time I sing this song, it just brings so much joy and peace to my heart. And I hope you um, were able to experience that. You know, um, I have uh, shared in this post um, some links that you can go and watch some amazing transformational stories um, from people who have used this song to bring healing and transformation to their lives, not just in health, but in all aspects of life, really, because every aspect of life of our existence is made of frequency and vibration. So by connecting, to higher frequency and vibration of love light, we are able to affect and bring transformation, positive transformation to our lives. And this is, this is where we um, can learn and discover and experience the power we all have, the innate power that we all have to change our lives and to change the world because the world begins from each and every one of us from you and me so when we are able to heal ourselves in our physical emotional mental physical bodies we are also healing the world one person at a time and that's why you know my teacher dr master shah always says heal one heal all because it really truly begins from each and every one of us so i thank you for joining me today i'm very delighted to always connect with all of you out there you can reach out to me if you have any insights questions that you'd like to share um, you can message me on facebook or email me at queerlovelight at gmail.com so once again, thank you for joining me today and I will see you again soon. Until then, be queer, be love, and be the light that the world needs. Bye now. <laughs>